Hey, what's up, everybody? Today we're visiting Danny at Coral Lust in Phoenixville, Pennsylvania. And I think you're going to be surprised about what we bring back. On last Sunday, Reese Spy, PR Fish Girl, Reefing with Billy Pipes, and I were invited to visit Danny at Coral Lust. Upon entering, you are met with these two beautiful in-wall tanks. Both of these glass bottom tanks have a wide variety of corals and fish, including uh, two huge clownfish, a very big pajama cardinal, and a gorgeous hippo tang that just had me staring at it for hours on end. Among the items you see in the tank are leathers, the greenest green star polyps that I've seen, different acros, zoas, there's a plating monte, and just a, a wide variety of different corals of all shapes and sizes. Now coming up, there's the pajama cardinal, the hippo tang, and here are the two clowns. I spent most of the time I was staring at them by the glass. Now, coming up in this first tub, was, it was packed with corals, again, of all different shapes and sizes, different variations of color. It also had huge zoa colonies and mushrooms, which at that time I wasn't looking at because of my experience with mushrooms. But just getting carried away looking at all the different colors that were in this tank, it was crazy. As you can see for yourself, Now, moving along to the main frag tank, I took, you can get a glimpse of some of his filtration. And uh, of course, my eyes are immediately attracted to the euphilia section. Now, moving up to the next section, we have uh, acans, favias, encrusting corals, and a huge fungia plate that I just looked at and said, oh, that's what they look like. Instead of the one like mine, that won't change sizes. Here are the encrusting corals. This, this tank is packed with corals, and you can stand here all day long and just never get tired of standing there. Moving back, I have to see the euphilias again. And the money's getting ready to jump out of my pocket because I'm pretty sure I'm going to make a purchase today. Here are those green uh, star polyps, the neons. Moving up here to another shelf, uh, more of some blastos and scolies and a, two huge trachies he had in this tank that were gorgeous. Here is the zoa section and mushrooms, frags, and you never get tired of standing over a tank looking at corals and just imagining what they're going to look like in your tank. Okay, so moving along now, I move down to the uh, Acan section and Scully section. And oh, more Euphilias. Thank you very much. I have to re record them. Here are some Duncans. Kind of look like mine, though. But they uh, came out later in the day and looked gorgeous. Okay, so I'm moving over the Green Star Pops. Just getting a look at what is in the back of the Euphilia section. I'm trying to decide which way I may want to go with this purchase today. Okay, so now you'll see Reefing with Billy Pipes comes over, gives me a filter to help me uh, try and make up my mind. So as I pan up to the sign, I just want to thank Danny for uh, having us over and ha hosting the event. And it was a great time and meeting uh, the other YouTubers and getting to talk shop a little bit. It it's always fun to do. So now upon arriving home, I asked Danny to bag up and box all my purchases and make it look like it was shipped to me. So this way I could show you exactly what you would get when you purchase from them through the mail. And here I am trying to get the box open. I am fantastic with a knife. 
can even cut a little piece of tape. So when you open the box, you'll see a letter stand uh, sitting on top. And this is a close up and what the letter says. As you get towards the bottom, you'll see uh, what it says. It says, if you subscribe to our channel, comment on a video you watched or share a picture of your new coral and tag Coral Lust to receive, you'll receive a free AAA coral with your next purchase, which I thought was really cool. Here's their acclimation guide. Okay, so putting the letter away, it's onto the stuff that I've been waiting to do. Uh, you get past the business card and the Coral Lust uh, stickers that he includes in, the, in every shipment. And now it's Christmas. I open up the box and, the first, and you see the packing peanuts. I had Danny put a little bit less than he usually would to make sure everything's secure as he always does. But I just did not want to go through all these peanuts. So... Here's the first one. Now you can see how well they are packaged. Uh, they're sealed and taped so that it doesn't leak. And there it is. There's my new torch. You'll see more of that in a little while. Second is a colony of zoanthids. And just, you can really look how well this is packaged. My third purchase was another colony of Zoanthus. And last but not least, this is a little something that I don't want to really let you know what it is until I show you it in the tank. Now, this, is, uh, this part of the video is after they've been acclimated to my water. They've sat in the water and getting to the right temperature. I use Revive Coral Dip, as you know, to clean the corals. And also, if they are under any stress or any parasite, that hopefully will get the, them off. The one thing I did notice as I was going through this process is how very little uh, detritus anything at all came off these corals. They're really clean. I use a turkey basin to push water through every crevice, every nook, every cranny. And at the end of the procedure, there was very little in the way of detritus dirt or anything else, um, except for basically amphipods are, uh, coming off. So I will give my hats off to Danny that, these are very clean pieces. So now I'm just going to take you through, uh, basically show you what I did. The very first thing that I uh, treated with the Revive and put through the turkey basted process was, the, of course, the torch coral, because that's the one I wanted to get in the tank first. Uh, I'm not going to let you go through the whole process with me, but uh, basically just to check out how I go about with uh, treating the euphelias and, and clean them up for the tank. I make sure I get all sides of it. Every little possible cranny is treated with uh, revive and blown with the turkey baster. Now it goes into a freshwater dip. And now I inspect each piece really, really carefully. And you can just see how clean this piece is. And now, Danny said that that was the old, his old uh, logo, which is really cool. And now that goes into the tank. Uh, before I get on to what I brought back from Coral Lust, uh, there's gonna be a little surprise in this one. 
and that is right here as you can see mushroom rock is no more I brought it with me um, to Coralust and I know that some youtubers already have put out some videos including Respy and uh, uh, two brothers who are starting their YouTube channel and put out their first video their channel's name is Collecting Coral, and I'll link them down in the description below, so check them out and give them a subscription because the, they're really doing a good job. So, now let's get on to what I brought back. First, we're starting out with these two. They are two huge colonies of corals. This one primarily is made up of the same genus of zoanthids. Uh, Danny, if you can just leave a, uh, a comment down below on what zoanthids are actually contained in these two rocks because I know that you told me and I completely and honestly forgot about them and what the names are. So primarily it's made up of this one genus and there are the solid green ones that are in it as well and it's really really a stunning rock. Behind it this one has different variations of, of zoanthids again on it as well um, these are just utterly gorgeous and they glow in the tank. They're right in the middle. Yes, there are eagle eye zoanthids in on this rock. It will be my third time trying to grow them out and I hope they do well uh, and don't end up like the last two, but we'll see. We have these ones with the green skirts and the yellow centers. And as you can tell also, some of the polyps haven't opened up uh, please remember that these are in my tank for less than a day, so I'm pretty sure that they'll open up on their own in time. Along with that, yes, I know I said I wouldn't, but I do have mushrooms again. Um, this small mushroom rock, I'm just trying as an experiment since the mushroom rock did so well to see if these will grow out. Um, they're really tiny. They have these three really brilliant red ones on, and there is even a green one here, but I'm primarily concentrating on the red ones to see how they grow out and fill out the rock, and there's also another rock that I picked up to, to put them on. So let's just see what happens there. Lastly, I have this. This was too good to pass up. There is nothing that the camera shows on this that, that, I mean, if you were here, you would just see how stunning this piece is. It's a neon green with blue tips. The blue tips do not come out underneath the lighting I have on right now because it's kind of in the morning and uh, the whites haven't come all the way up. I kind of re rock -scaped this area so this way the two torches were separated a, a little bit because I want to give this one time to get acclimated to the tank and uh, start taking off on its own. So those are the uh, corals I brought home from Coral Lust. I know what you may be saying is what happened to the chalice. Well along with the rock going the chalice went and in fragging it and trying to take it off um, it broke again and some of it stayed at Coral Lust, so it'll be available for purchase hopefully. About a week or so ago, I responded to Psychedelic Babe and answered the 10 questions in the Tuber Tag Challenge. A couple days ago, Inappropriate Reefer, he challenged me again. So in the spirit of good fun and to keep the challenge going, I'm extending my challenge to Danny at Coral Lust. Danny, in the description on the video, you're going to find your 10 questions, actually your 9, the 10th one being to, to challenge three other channels, and uh, make a video of it. I really want to see what your take is on the questions and what your answers are going to be.